applications to your iPod from iTunes without deleting the ones you already have on your iPod. Now for instance, some people when they have a Wi-Fi connection will download applications from iTunes directly on their iPod Touch. But when they go to sync it with the computer and the iTunes software, they'll overwrite those applications by syncing only the applications that are already on the iTunes software on the computer. iTunes does not automatically know if you downloaded something with your iPod Touch. It only knows what you've already synced with iTunes. So in order to uh, sync your applications without the current ones being deleted, you have to follow this procedure. Now I already have a video very similar to this on my channel and it's called how to sync apps without deleting them, something like that. However, I got a lot of feedback of people saying they weren't able to get it to work. A lot of them did, but the problem with most of them was that they didn't update the software. So I'm going to show you today how to update the software on your iPod and on iTunes before you try to sync your applications. So we're going to go to this devices category where your iPod is listed and you're going to click on the iPod name. You're going to go check for update and it tells me this version of the iPod software which is on the iPod touch is the current version. Click OK. Now to check for the iTunes software which is on your computer, click help, check for updates and it's telling me that this version of iTunes the version 9 is the current version. So if we have trouble we know that checking for updates isn't going to be our problem. Now I'm going to show you how to transfer purchases from your iPod to iTunes. You're going to do that by clicking File, Transfer Purchases, or by clicking right-clicking the iPod name, Transfer Purchases. And you can see the activity in this window up here. Now right now I don't have any new apps, but if there was a new app you'd say, it, it, it would say up here something about syncing the name of the app. So you go into this Applications tab right here, and you want to make sure that any new apps you have are checked. Like for instance, today I just synced Alarm Tunes Lite, and I don't want to delete that, so you have to make sure that it's checked before you sync the applications. Now some of these, like the bubble wrap, I just took off today. I didn't want it on there anymore. It is still in the library, but it's not checked. Now if you want to take something out of your library, you can go up here to Applications in the library. And so we'll put bubble wrap. You right click and you delete it. And you, it says, are you sure you want to remove the selected application? I'm going to say yes. And I'm just going to tell it to move it to the recycle bin and I'll have to delete that later. So now we'll go back into the iPod name, the Applications tab, and you'll see that Bubble Wrap is no longer listed as an option. You could download it again if you wanted to, but it's no longer listed. And if you if it doesn't work the first time, you can always say Transfer Purchases again, and it'll do it again. But you see that one did not show up. So once you delete the application from here, you probably better make sure you really want to delete it because you're going to have to download it again if you want it back. Um, that's probably pretty much it before you sync it. You'll notice some of these are not checked. That's because I don't want them on there. If you change your mind in the future and they're still in your application library over here, you could always recheck them and it will sync it again and install it on your iPod for you. So now that I'm ready to sync, I'm going to press the sync button. And that's just asking me about the photo library. That's not asking about the applications. That says syncing and backing up. And it says the iPod sync is complete, okay to disconnect. So I'm going to eject it using this little button over here on the left. And you're good to go. So hopefully that will help you sync your applications from your iPod Touch to iTunes without getting them deleted. And um, hopefully iTunes won't lock up on you. I know iTunes has been locking up a lot for me lately. I think it's a software issue, probably not so much anything else. I know it doesn't play well with Windows Vista all the time. So if anyone has a solution for iTunes locking up when I'm syncing my music and music only, I would really appreciate it if you shot me an email or a, a message or a comment or something. Well, that's all for today, and um, hopefully that will help you.